Hi, I'm Carrie Miller, a registered dietitian with Nebraska Extension in Douglas and Sarpy County. Today we're going to make a healthy Halloween meal. Uh, might be a couple recipes you've never made before, so let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to make a pumpkin soup. And this is a vegetarian soup, um, but you can always add a side of chicken or something else if you'd like meat with your meal. So first, we're going to cover the bottom of our pan with oil. And we're using olive oil. It's a monounsaturated fat. It has many health benefits. And so that's something to consider um, to putting into your pantry, something new to try if you aren't already. You want to go ahead and make sure the oil is covering the pan. You want to make sure that that oil gets warm. And then we're going to go ahead and add in our first ingredient, which is, I have white onion. You could use yellow, you could use red, which would change the color a little bit. And you're going to start sauteing that. And this is a half a cup of onion. So once you have all the ingredients in to saute, you're going to let them saute for four minutes. So now I have diced celery. Make sure you get that coated with the oil and evenly across the pan. This gives a nice crunch to the end of the soup. Next, we're going to add minced garlic. And I like to buy it already pre-minced. Some people are really good at using garlic cloves, but I buy it already pre-minced. One clove is approximately equal to one teaspoon of minced garlic, so that is this. And if you don't love garlic, you could use less than that, or you could use more. Next, you're going to coat that with some just regular white sugar. It's two teaspoons. And what this does is it helps caramelize the onions, gives it a caramelized flavor, and a sweet flavor brings out the sweetness of the onions and the other ingredients as well. So about four minutes, and in the interest of time today, we're going to have to skip over sauteing that completely four minutes, but you'd want to make sure to go ahead and saute that for four minutes. Next, what you're going to do is add a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So a great fall flavor. You want to cover your ingredients with that. Next, you have a half a teaspoon of ginger. So this may or may not be something you commonly kick with, cook with. This gives a good kick to the recipe I found, as well as a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So I'm covering that on everything. And then we're going to go ahead and mix it together. And turn up the heat a little bit here. It smells really good. Cinnamon, nutmeg, great uh, fall aroma. Good smell for your house. And next, we're going to add one can of pureed pumpkin. Um, sure, you could get this from a pumpkin and take more time to do it, but we just bought a can of pumpkin. Um, a great source of vitamin A, which is great for your eyes and also helps your immune health and also helps with building of cells in your body. So vitamin A is really important to good health and definitely popular this season. We're going to go ahead and mix that in. Now we need a little liquid to that. Before we do the liquid, we're going to do one potato. So if you'd want this to be a little bit more hearty, you could use more than one chopped potato. But we're just using one. And remember, if you're adding more potato, add more starch. So it'll thicken it more. So you may need to add more vegetable broth or water to make it more thin. So then we're going to add four cups of vegetable broth. So if you're wanting to keep it a vegetarian dish, you want to keep use the vegetarian broth, but you could use chicken broth if that's what you have at home. And then you're going to mix all that together. 
And then you want to turn this to high. You want to turn the heat to high. You want to bring it to a boil. And if this is something new to your family and if you have kids involving them in chopping or cutting things up and putting it in the soup, will increase their chances of trying it and even liking it. If you can get them involved just a little bit, because this may be something new to them that they've never tried before. So you can get everything nice and stirred up. All right, and then I'd make sure that I got it to a boil and then I'd bring it back down to a medium heat. And you're gonna leave it for 20 minutes, but you wanna make sure to check on it every once in a while to make sure you're not burning anything on the bottom and make sure that it's at a right heat because all stovetops cook a little differently. All right, so Nick's thing is really fun. Um, and one of my favorite foods, which is cheesy garlic bread, but we have a fun spin on this. So put this aside. All right, so what I have is a loaf of whole grain bread or like a baguette. Um, and to make sure it's whole grain, the first ingredient needs to say whole grain. And when it's whole grain, it's a better source of fiber and helps keep you full longer. I already put butter on it. Um, and we're gonna make mummy garlic cheese bread. So something fun for the whole family to try. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put garlic powder on the bread. And I use garlic powder instead of garlic salt. It's a way to reduce sodium intake. And then what I have here is just string cheese. So I've torn it apart, and that's how we'll start building our mummy. And you just zigzag it across. You don't have to be perfect with this. You can involve your kids once again in making this, or grandkids. And cheese is a great source of calcium, so a way to get calcium. So the meal we're making today with the soup and the bread, and then we have a side of fruit with it, we have four of our five food groups. So our goal at meals are to have five of the five food groups, and we're not always able to do that. But if you're wanting to, um, increase and get all five food groups. Like I said, you could put roasted chicken or a piece of fish with it um, to get all the food groups in one meal. All right, now the fun part. These are black sliced olives and we're gonna make the eyes. So you wanna make sure that your oven was turned on to about 500 degrees and every oven, once again, seems like it cooks a little differently. And you wanna bake this bread for four to six minutes. So it's nice and golden brown. Um, and I always set a timer when I'm doing garlic bread because I have a tendency to burn my bread. So um, we're gonna go ahead and put that in the oven. And then we'll move this out of the way and then I'll show you our finished product. All right, so in the magic of television, since we didn't have 20 minutes to shoot all of this, it takes 20 minutes to do the soup. I garnished it with green onion. Um, you can also add Greek yogurt or sour cream to it to make it more creamy or cream. Um, the Greek yogurt would give it um, higher nutritional value, some more protein and calcium for you. It would make it a creamier soup if that's what you like, or you could put a dollop on the soup. I didn't choose to do that today, but put some green onions on it. And then we have our mummy garlic bread. This is probably pretty good, big for one serving, which would be fine, but maybe cutting that in half and sharing it with a family member so you'd only have to have two of those if you had a family of four. Um, and then we garnished it with an apple. So apples are in season now, a great way to add a fruit to this meal. Um, they're on sale, so you can go get apples as well now. Happy Halloween and have a healthy, healthy, safe Halloween season.